was the Michigan Self-Defense Doctrine. The right to defend yourself and not be prosecuted and not be civilly sued. You know, we got it through because Governor Jennifer Granholm had an election coming up and she signed it. But she retired and recently went on her TV show and opposed it. Wants it taken away. Of course, her show was taken away because Al Gore sold her network to Al Jazeera. But that's not going to happen under our watch. We're going to make sure that the Michigan Self-Defense Doctrine, also known as the Castle Doctrine, remains in place in Michigan. I got to tell you some other things. You know, sometimes people don't tell you the full truth. Recently, recently I debated, I debated a representative on the political twist-up show young man from Royal Oak. Initially, at the beginning of the show, he stated he was all for the Second Amendment. But then about halfway through the show, he said he wanted to register every semi-automatic rifle. And I said, well, obviously, you're an extremist. You want to take, take away semi-automatic rifles, semi-automatic shotguns from Michigan hunters, Michigan families that want to defend themselves. It's outrageous. Then he ran it a little bit, and I ran it back. I think I won that one. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say, uh, you know, before I'm done here, that we've got some great sheriffs out here today. Mike Raines just retired from Eaton County. Yeah. Who else have we got out there? We got Dar Darleaf. Dar yeah, Sheriff Darleaf. Yeah. All right. Great guys that support your Second Amendment rights, you know, and when others want to take them away. So appreciate you coming out. And we got some other speakers coming up. I think Senator Green will be coming up here in a minute. Another thing we passed through the judiciary, created a little bit of stir, was we declared we had 10th Amendment rights. Yeah! And we declared if a gun was manufactured in Michigan, that the federal government wouldn't come in and control it. We also passed the Nullify the National Defense Act. The act, that, the act that says they can just grab an American citizen, not a foreign national, not a spy, not an enemy combatant, but just grab an American citizen off the street, throw you in prison or in jail, and not charge you. It's ridiculous. We passed it unanimously through the Senate. We've got it over in the House. I feel pretty secure it's going to pass over there, too. We'll get that signed into law. That says that no sheriff, no police officer, no state trooper will ever help the federal government detain a Michigan citizen without charges. All right! Hurrah! Yeah. Right. Now, you know, I'll tell you a little story because, you know, you're going to hear from the liberals how that's really bad. And I came, up, I came up with a reason that maybe the liberals could accept it. In 1855, we had the Fugitive Slave Act. Yeah. Men from the South would come to Michigan and grab people off the street, declare they were a slave, and cart them off. So the senators in 1855 Michigan nullified the Fugitive Slave oh, Act. Yeah. Right. They declared the Liberty Act that in Michigan we will always have habeas corpus, the right to trial, and that's what we did here again. But, <laughs> well, there's some, there's some good Democrats too. But, but, <laughs> but thanks for coming out on this frosty day, and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. What was his name? I didn't catch it. Oh, okay. That's Rick Jones. Rick Jones? Okay, yeah, thank you. Rick Jones. Jones is a good guy. He's working hard. <laughs>